Hey, welcome back to the garage, everyone. A little change of pace here. Was working on the living room, but my utility trailer needs a little attention as well. Actually, it needs, it needs a lot of attention, really. It, uh, it needs a paint job, which is pretty clear. It also needed a new axle tube because the old one was bent sort of like that, except the other way. So, I uh, was looking around, and I'll tell you what I found. Northern Tool has pretty much everything you want to re build or repair a trailer. Um, they're not paying for, paying me for this, obviously, but I just wanted to give you my experience with their products. Uh, I am using a 59-inch long Ultra Toe brand, 1.5-inch uh, wide square uh, axle. And I have also, and what you need to do is purchase also the uh, the 1.5 inch square tube axle plate kit which is basically the u-boat u-bolts that uh, that go with this axle so the the, uh, the axle will come with this little spacer here and uh, the the uh, u-bolt kit will come with this with this plate and these locking nuts and these two they're not actually u-bolt they're, they're kind of squarish so uh, I just got this one side on and one little trick that I use since I'm here by myself I just put a tie wrap over there like that one on the other end to hold and I just put it on there and then I just slip the axle through it and it holds it in the air while I while I work on this end so that's a good tip uh, another thing I got was some new hubs these are 1350 pound capacity hubs again from ultra toe uh, these are four bolt because that's what was on the on the trailer to begin with also got new tires from northern tool as well we got a new northern tool uh, store in this area where I live and it is fantastic. I really love it. So I'm really satisfied with the products their sales their service their store everything um, So that's uh, pretty much it for right now uh, Next phase I will be uh, I'm going to finish up this axle and just basically it's real simple You just get the axle in place, right? Make sure your spacer is here and there's a little hole in the middle of the spacer and this bolt that goes through the leaf spring will go into that hole in the middle of that sp spacer there Put your top plate on, slip your bolts up through, slap your nuts on, your way you go. I got to do the other side next, obviously. And then once I get this thing perfectly centered, I've got to measure from, you know, say the distance from the frame down and make sure it's the same on either side. And then I will, uh, then I'll get these hubs on here and hopefully get these tires on this thing before the sun sets on me. So I'll be back. All right, as you can see, I've got my... Um, my U-bolt kits are uh, installed on both ends. They're just loosely fitted so that I can uh, slide the ax axle back and forth this way. So all I did was I went and got a, a, a carpenter's square, a short one, and I sort of held it up there on the frame, right, firmly. And then I took a measurement from, from the edge of the square that faces outboard. I only got two hands here. Sorry, guys. So I took a measurement from the the outward edge of the square trailer to the end of the spindle and uh, and I tweaked the axle until I got s s actually six inches on on both sides so we're right in the middle I can bolt I can tighten my bolts down now so I'm gonna tighten these bolts down and then I'm gonna get the hubs on all right I think I got my camera set up so the instructions are pretty straightforward here uh, with these hubs they are uh, they're pre-greased you don't have to do anything. You just slip it over the spindle. Okay, looks good. All right, here we go. Wow, that was hard. All right. So now we got to put our uh, our washer on. I tell you what, there's a bunch of grease on this thing, as well it should be. So what I'm going to do real quick here is uh, put that excess grease in my dust cap. All right, I looked at the uh, instructions. The oil seal in this hub is 1.25 inches, and that is the correct spec for the spindle on this axle tube. So we're good to go. Now we're going to tighten down the cotter pin. It says 30 to 40 foot-pounds, and I'm going to use my... Uh, this is my high-tech torque wrench, which doesn't even fit. <laughs> it 
jokingly. I've got to go get a bigger one. All right, I'm back. I had to go hunt down a, a massive socket. This is a 38 millimeter. So we're going to guesstimate 30 to 40 foot pounds. I'm going to call that 30 or 40 foot pounds. All right, cotter pin. There we are. I think that's it right, right there. We've got to back it off a little more. Like I said, you've got to back it off finger tight, so like that. And you've got to find the hole now. There it is, right there. Okay. So then we do it finger tight. All right. Finger tight. All right, we'll go there. There we go. Done. I'm going to tap that in. And we'll just bend this over. Give that a tap. Done. I'm going to do our dust cover. All right, now. Now, that will allow me to keep my hand out of the way. That's a tight fit. Good luck getting that dust cap out of there. All right, well, there you go. Spins without any noise. My others sounded like, uh, well, they sounded pretty bad. <laughs> they sounded like, <laughs> it was pretty tough. All right, folks, uh, running out of daylight here. So pretty much, obviously, the other side is just like this one. Not want to bore you with that. And I think everybody on here can put a wheel on a trailer and uh, tighten the lug nuts down. And uh, lower. And if you, in case you're wondering, yeah, I've got the whole thing on uh, on four jack stand, so it's nice and safe. Anyway, I'm going to cut it off. Keep it short right here for you guys. I know some of my other videos kind of run a little bit long. So, uh, well, anyway, if you have any questions about this video, uh, just put a comment uh, down below. If you like the video, hit the like button. And if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, please do that too. And uh, we'll talk to you again soon. Thank you.